I know you sent me to the future, but I'm back. Back from the future. Do 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 do. I don't know why I'm talking about Back to the Future, but we did it. We're heroes. Welcome back to a very special Let's Play series. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Mega Traveler 1, The Zodani Conspiracy. Uh, when last we met, we had just finished uh, clearing this town of the scum that inhabited it. We equipped our party with armor and weapons and explored the town a little bit. We wiped out scumbags that uh, ambushed us at a bar. And we uh, explored the countryside a bit and accidentally hunted down a notorious assassin who almost killed us. Um, since then, I have actually figured out how to use med packs in the field. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, what you go, what you do is you equip, equip your med pack, I should say, uh, in your primary slot. So if we go to this character, um, you can see he's got his med pack equipped. Then what you do is you uh, use item. You go to use and you use your primary item and you go ahead and you heal yourself a bit. I don't know how many charges my uh, item packs have but as we saw in the last video we have a trust fund baby on our team which is verti here verti joined the party with five million bucks the party's already blown through a million dollars of her money we need two million to get off this planet so we don't actually have too much more to play around with but uh verti here uh it was kind enough to finance the party and actually verti i feel like has taken a lot of damage in combat and so has uh this other guy here, High Card, who is our resident sort of gambler. And I kind of felt like I think I should spend the money to equip these guys with better armor because there is absolutely no point in uh, going through the game, getting very far, and then having like two characters die. Now, the, uh, one interesting thing about this game, by the way, is that if you do have a character die, you can actually go to a uh, you can actually go to a bar and recruit another character. And actually, as I say that, now I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll leave things as is. Uh, I don't know. Okay, you know what? We are gonna buy one piece of armor then. Let's buy it for high card. And we're going to use the party's investment account of $4.1 million. Um, and we are going to get him... Well, we have combat armor or a battle dress. <laughs> uh, let's... Well, what the hell? Let's get him a battle dress. Why not? He'll go into battle in a full ballroom gown. Why not? Uh, now we go into our items. Or no, we go in and we go ahead and equip... His beautiful, elegant, gold-plated battle dress. And actually, we can go here and we can... Can we sell the armor that we don't need anymore? No, we can only buy armor here. This guy's not interested in uh, us selling it. Hold on. We can sell stuff to the general store, though. I just want to keep our inventories relatively clear. Um, so that... All right, we can sell our vac helmet... We can sell our semi-automatic rifle, our vac suit. I want to keep our inventories relatively clear because I, I don't know what we're going to encounter in this game. And I want to make sure that we're not, uh, we don't encounter something we want to pick up, but we can't get it. Anyway, let's go ahead and heal everybody. Um, Brains is injured and Verity is injured. You know what? I, so I've left Verdi particularly vulnerable because if she dies, I didn't create Verdi. I have no attachment to her. And we can recruit someone else. And uh, we can get someone else maybe who has an, another cool $5 million. Oh, this guy wants to tango. Um, the reason, by the way, that some characters have $5 million is that uh, in the version of the game that I've got, all the default characters that come with the game um, have been modified to have $5 million in their bank account. And the reason that is, is because this game uh, is kind of an unbalanced RPG where a lot of the quests and stuff revolve around just earning money. And you can spend upwards of like 20 hours basically accumulating money. And I, I, I mean, I haven't done that myself, but I read about it. And I just thought that is not the kind of Let's Play video I wanted to make. I didn't want to sit here and spend, you know, 20 hours you know, just on the first planet or even in the first solar system or whatever, just trying to get money so I could get off this planet. So basically we're fast forwarding a little, imagining that we have uh, a solid 
uh, assortment of money. But uh, actually, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to switch this guy to a laser rifle. That's going to be more effective. There we go. And fire on that guy. And all right. Initiate. So the combat in this game is in real time. So you can actually manually control guys. So I'm controlling the red guy and I'm making the red guy uh, attack a lot. Um, and you can actually just walk your guys around even. Um, now before, so, so when this game was first released, uh, one of the things that people didn't like about it, um, and that made the game actually really hard, is that combat was in real time, but you had five people to control, and the computer was, like, relentless. So if you just hopped into combat... Uh, you would often die. And so what you'd have to do, you had five characters, you'd have to break up the party behind like a building so they were all in cover. And you'd have to fight one at a time with one character because you couldn't pause the combat. And it was actually like really difficult and not particularly sort of fun. So uh, what the game developers did to their credit is they released a patch that allowed you to pause the game and issue orders and then the computer would fight with your characters. So I think it's still like not an ideal combat system. Ooh, look, those are like rupees or something. Vehicle leave. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Uh, items take. Emeralds taken. Um, so I think it's still like not an ideal combat system, but it's, it's interesting. And uh, I don't know, like it's not the worst that I've seen. Oh God, vehicle leave party break then we pause the game so it takes like a number of key commands just to like uh you know get to combat although hold on we have to get out of this party regroup we have to get the guy on our screen you can't scroll the screen when you're in combat yeah it's sort of it's clunky it's it's definitely clunky but i don't know it's it's okay um, the reason, by the way, that I got into this, as I said in my previous videos, that it was recommended to me by a fan who was watching me play Battletech, the Crescent Hawks Inception over the summer. And I think that is a similar-ish game to this. I think this game is actually not as good as Battletech, but I, I really like sort of the graphics and the idea behind it and the idea you've got like a gang of five people and you're like kind of going around uh, you know, exploring these planets together and, like, shopping at stores. Like, there's a lot of potential here. And if you have not watched my first video, you should go back and check it out because this game has an amazing character creation module. It's just actually really fascinating. You enroll your characters in the army and they, like, randomly gain skills, which you have some control over, but it's, like, not total control. So it's actually really brilliant and interesting. It's like a mini game unto itself. But I think that... Um, as I also said in the first video, another one of the failings of this game is that they didn't necessarily use most of the skills in the game. So I think the manual straight out says 25 of the like 50 or 80 skills are like not even used in this game. So it is kind of disappointing that they went to so much effort to translate the uh, RPG um, of Traveler into a, into a game here. And then they sort of phoned it in on some aspects. And actually, you know what? I wouldn't even say phoned it in because you have to give the developers credit. When they were developing this game, they were developing it for like the Atari ST and a handful of other systems at the same time. And from what I understand, it was actually, uh, oops, it was actually very uh, difficult to get a game working that, uh, you know, um, sort of adhered to all the system limitations of uh, the systems uh, that they were trying to build for. So, uh, oops, so on ammo, damn it. So, you know what, you, you kind of got to gotta cut the developers some slack, I think. But at the same time, um, it is too bad that they didn't do more with this game. Because I think this game, like the base of it has so much potential. Like, I'm fascinated to see what could have been if they had, if they had implemented, uh, you know, more stuff in this game who will receive who will buy this part is kind of tedious uh the sort of purchasing stuff because you have to say who will receive who will purchase i kind of just wish they had done away with this sort of element of the game and just had like a joint account for everyone because this is a little tedious but uh you know i, I don't want to spend the whole video saying what i don't like about this game because there's actually a lot of things i do like so let's focus on the game instead
All right, so we have successfully ammoed up in the Grav City here. I don't think there's too much else to see on this first planet, unless I am mistaken. I'm gonna fly out of here and just have a quick peek. But we've assassinated the like ninja guy who was terrorizing people in the hills over here. We'll go ahead and kill this guy too for good measure. He may be an innocent civilian, but let's face it, if he was innocent, he would not be getting attacked by me right now. So break up our group, go into combat mode, fire on this guy, fire on this guy, fire on... I'm going to get really good at all these keyboard commands by like the end of my playthrough here. And fire on this guy and go! Meanwhile, fire, fire! This guy's like, oh man, what's going on? And we killed him. He was kind of a lion guy. Look at the top right. He's sort of like a, a, a cheetah man. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and regroup. We killed the cheetah men, guys. We're heroes. There's nothing to take. Pretty sure that guy was just a harmless civilian, but whatever. We're criminals now. It's okay. Anyway, I think we have done everything that we can in this first planet. And so it is time to get the heck out of here. This ship, by the way, that we're flying around in is a rental. Um, actually, before we do that, I did hear something about these, like, weird plants causing atmospheric problems. I kind of wonder... You cannot leave your vehicle here. Leave. There we go. Oh, God. That just poisoned all of us. Oh, my God. Those are like mines. That is crazy. Interesting. All right. So that has the potential to gas us and kill us all. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to clear all this. If it leads anywhere. Well, let's let's just try one more thing here. We're going to vehicle leave. We're going to party break. And we're going to fire there. 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 Can we destroy these things? No, I don't know. So uh, in the previous video, we actually did encounter a uh, like, news agency that was telling us about these like poisonous gas clouds. And I was kind of wondering, I wonder if you clear those away, if like the citizenry will like grant you a reward or something. But it does not seem to be the case that that really did anything. Maybe you can clear those away. I'm not entirely sure. Um, one of the things about this game is that like most of the side quests are like unnecessary and only exist to kind of earn you money. So you can choose to do them, you can choose to ignore them, whatever you want. Uh, for us, we're going to be exploring a few planets that are unnecessary to complete the game because they have some interesting sort of quests and we want to uh, explore them and take a look. Anyway, let's first return our rental vehicle. Uh, like, uh, you damage the vehicle, your, your account will receive part of your deposit. What do you mean damaged? Yeah, there's some laser blasts and somebody might have puked in the back when they almost died, but I mean, I don't know. All right, fine. We damaged your vehicle. What do you want? Time to heal all of our characters. Up, brains, ace, verti. We are good to go. I don't know if your characters level up, by the way. I think their skills improve as they use the skills. You're not permitted to enter this official Imperial base. Please leave. Well, nuts to you too, bud. Um, press any key. The headquarters of Smirk. Oh, we read this in the last video. Okay. All right. The last thing to do in this, uh, this little, uh, edge of space is to go ahead and, uh, upgrade your ship. So 3.8 million. I think that's pretty good. We're about to lose all of it though. So we need targeting, launch, jump, navigation, uh, maneuver, jump one, auto evade. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I could just buy everything. I feel like that's kind of cheap, though. So we're not going to buy everything. And we we'll also go into computers. Party account will receive 80,000 credits for the Interlox old Model 2 computer. Um, okay, give me a Model 3 computer then, I guess. I don't think I needed to buy that. I needed miscellaneous. It's funny how like the miscellaneous category contains some of your the most necessary things, like uh, a jump to capable drive, which you need to get off this planet. And let's get a maneuver drive, fuel scoops, and a purify plant. 
There we go. We went from 3.8 million <laughs> down to nothing. But our ship is all pimped out. We have a million dollars left. Don't worry, guys. Most of our money went to armor. I think we spent like $600,000 on armor in the first video. So we've got armor. We don't need it anymore. Now, let's go ahead and save our game. And we'll call this Gang 2. And what is this, by the way? Retirement payment. No one received pension payment. I should hope so. My people are only like 30 years old. Who will pay for the training? Can we train our guys? Brains, jack trade, or laser weaponry? Interesting. Well, laser weaponry would make sense. Train. Who will receive the training? The party accounts. Jack trade. Why not? I don't know what it does. Wait, why was Brains the one getting trained? If we change the order of these guys, can we train other people? No one is eligible for training. Okay, so that had the who 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 was selected to do had, be trained had nothing to do with who was uh, number one in the party. Anyway, okay, I think we have everything. We can refuel the ship. Sure. Okay, I think I think it's finally time, guys. It is finally time to leave the planet. Are you ready to see space? Here it is. Soak it in. Um. All right, we can go ahead and take off. When you're in space, you can uh, fly around. Uh, whoa, we're spinning around like crazy. Um, this It's a little hard to fly in space because you kind of like, it's sort of like an asteroid style of physics. Like you do kind of like float around a bit. Oh God, I flew right through the sun. It did not seem to damage my ship. I want to try and get over. There, there's like another planet here somewhere. There we go. Uh, tethered to spur space dock. Let's go ahead and land. Please wait. A sign nearby says no littering in the starport area. Oxygen supplies by Susag Lick Mega Corporation. Uh, will you submit to a search for illegal weapons? All right. Illegal weapons confiscated. You may claim them upon return to your starport. You jerk. Wait, what did they take? Oh, they took all my guns. Oh, this guy still has a gun. <laughs> they somehow missed that. All my awesome guns. All right, I guess we're not allowed to fight here. Um, let's see. Welcome to the casino. We don't want to gamble. So here's our first second planet. It looks like the planet we came from. We have a lounge to explore. Pretty sure there's not really anything to do in here. Um, howdy there, gentle folk. It is claimed that credits can loosen anyone's tongue. I shall bribe you. With a thousand credits. I laugh at your money. Uh, you don't have enough money to bribe me. Wait, did she take the credits? I think she took our thousand and then laughed at us. Well, you know what else loosens someone's tongue? A nice sock to the face. Or a sack of pennies. Or a sock full of pennies if you're short on sacks. You know what I mean. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings, traveler. I feel like that's going to be the generic response of NPCs who are not programmed to actually say anything. Greetings, traveler. What is this, a dog? What is this? A person? An alien? There are aliens in this game, by the way. But this game focuses on humans, again, because of sort of programming limitations back in the day. Uh, does this person have anything to say? Nothing. Um, it is really hard to figure out if we're near the edge of the map or we just haven't gone further to the left or right because of the way the screen scrolls, but... Uh, general store. Anything of interest? Uh, we kind of have all that stuff already. How about a spare oxygen tank? Whatever. Okay. Anything else of interest over here? Hello? Uh, weapons. Weapons. We kind of want neural weapons. We bought laser weapons just because it was all we had, but... Oh, God. We don't want weapons from this store. The other store had way better stuff. So it's kind of cool that the stores have different materials. Um, so these, this is where you can pay for, like, missions, I guess. Or, like, sort of hints about where to go. Did we go in here yet? The Sturs Museum of Antiques. This is just like the museum on the other planet. Maybe these guys want the rubies or something that we found. There's a guy over here. Let's just kick in the door. Hey, you want some rubies? Um, I'd be interested in buying cones. Coins. Okay. Well, I don't got any of those. So you're SOL, my friend. Um, all right. 
Hey, you guys want to know a fun fact about this game? This game is called the Zodani Conspiracy or whatever. The Zodanis never make an appearance for the entire game. We're going to play through the entire game. We're never once going to encounter the Zodanis. <laughs> so, they're, they're more of a mystery. The villain, you know, like they, they like to pull the strings behind the uh, behind the curtains. You know what? If Honestly, if I was a Zodani and I was able to, I would, of course, pull the strings from behind the scenes. Why on earth would you get yourself involved when you have henchmen to do that for you? But yes, the, Z the Zodani Conspiracy. It definitely is a conspiracy because the Z Z Z Z I can't even talk. The Zodani have nothing to do. I mean, they kind of, they were mentioned in the uh, opening sort of cutscene, but um, anyway, we're going for like a lovely walk. Uh, just out without, with no weapons, by the way. We have like one weapon. Oh man, this looks super dangerous. It's like a maze here. Yikes. I do not like the looks of that. Okay, we're gonna kinda get away from that. I wonder I wonder if you could do anything. Oh man, I'm like so tempted to see what's in there. I don't know how to uh diffuse those those flowers though. Let's see how much damage this causes. Oh you can't even go through. You can't even go through. But if you walk on one of these. Everyone takes two hit points of damage. Okay, you know what? We made it. We came all this way. I kind of want to see what we got going on here. A little maze. This is exciting. I feel like we're making our way. I'm going to take another hit here. It's only two hit points to everybody. They can take it. They're strong. They're young, virile adventurers. Man, this is a huge maze. I don't know if my people are being gassed or the computer can't handle drawing all the sprites on the screen, but my guys are walking very slow. Step by step by step. Anything over here. Okay, nothing over here. I'm really curious what, if, if there's like literally anything to find at the center of this maze. Or it's just, it's just nothing. It's probably just nothing. But we made it all the way into this maze. I just, I gotta see. I gotta see, what are you hiding, maze? Hey, we made it. We made it to the other side. Oh my God, there's stuff. It was worth it. All right, what do we got? Uh, this, this is exciting. Items take. Who will take the battle dress? Oh my God, that was totally worth it. That's like $194,000. We will take the PGMT. Damn, that those that's actually like the most expensive weapon. Who will take the B dress helmet? Boom. Oh man, that that's so cool. Oh, and there's something else right here. Oh god. Item take. Who will take the coins? The guy just said he would pay for coins. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip this this booty. Put on that, put on that. The one thing I dislike about all my guys getting battle dresses is they're kind of becoming generic. I liked when they had like varying armor and personality, but now they're all becoming like battled up C-3PO's, you know, like this, this golden armor. It's fine, but I, I did kind of like when there was variety in the team. Um, they will drop that. And item take, main guy's gonna take that. All right, maybe there's more stuff to discover in this maze. But I kind of feel like that was a lucky find. Ow. I don't know what that is. It's like a dog or something. It keeps biting me for zero points of damage. So I'm not going to cause a fuss. I'm just going to get the... I also don't... I think only one of my guys has a weapon. So I kind of don't want to get in a fight with a random dog in a gas field. Ow. Slowly make our way out of the maze. That is a huge maze, though. Uh, oh. We might be lost in the maze. Is this the way I came from? I don't remember doing this. Oh, shoot. Took two damage that I didn't have to. We do have med packs if we really need it, but I think we can get to the hospital. Yeah, we made it out of the maze. Oh, we're free. Freedom. Did you guys know there's a giant toxic gas cloud near your city down there? Where is the city, by the way? Now I've kind of lost that, too. I think there was a bridge over here or something. Yeah, there it was. All right, we have made it. We made it back to the city. Heal me, Doc! Doc, where are you? I know you sent me back in time, but I'm back. Back from the fu the future. Um, all right. 
That was not the quote at all, by the way, from Back to the Future. I was trying to sound cool. The quote is, I know you sent me to the future, but I'm back. Back from the future. And then the doc goes, great, Scott. Passes out. Then you get the, like, the fade in of the do, 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 music. I don't know why I'm talking about Back to the Future, but we did it. We're heroes. All right. Uh, let's check out this other planet over here. Uh, take off. And we will land. Ooh. And a sign nearby says, No littering in the starport. Oxygen supplies by Suskag Lick Megacorp. All right. So off we go for Grand Adventures. And this planet looks considerably more run down than the one we came from. This one has fallen on hard times. It's like a desert planet or something. Is there anyone even here? Oh, there's a guy. Hello. Oh, God. What did he say to us? What did this guy even say before he started attacking us? Having fun traveling? It is very dangerous to land on Solon, home of the Smirk and the most powerful criminal society in the area. Can we bribe you? You don't have enough money to bribe me. All right. Well, you know what? You brought the thunder and you're going to receive the lightning. Break up the group. Pause. All right, we are going to switch to... Oh, wait, where are our weapons? Our weapons aren't even equipped. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and put them in the primary slot. Don't mind me, just equipping my weapons. Brains has got some options on which weapon he's going to use. Oh, so does this guy, apparently. All right. Okay, my one guy does not seem to want to reload. That's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh no, one of our guys died! No! No! Okay, we killed that guy. Oh my god, we lost a guy. I wasn't even fully paying attention. Regroup. Who died? Oh my god, who will take the ruby necklace? Who will take that? There's nothing nearby. Oh my god, all the stuff. We had it. He had the best armor and the best friends. And he died. There's nothing nearby to take. What did this earn us? Hold on. We got to uh, go ahead and this guy. Got to heal up, man. I can't believe that. I, I, I thought he was protected. Oh, I think it was Hammer Mike. High card, brains, ace, and Verd. Yes, RIP Hammer Mike. We spent so long building him and he just died like that. That's no way for a Hammer Mike to go. Uh, party, break, and select this guy. Oh, he's too injured or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Should we even continue to explore? I'm kind of afraid here. We're also losing oxygen as we do this. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's another guy. We are not ready for this. Oh, no. He's going to kill brains, not brains, not brains. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I thought we were good enough for Smirk. We were not. Smirk showed us. We will come back when we are more powerful. I'll come back and get you. Okay, we need to take off immediately. We need to fly back and recruit more guys. Uh, take off. Take off. Okay, there we go. We're taking off. So we're going to ignore all those other ships. We, we have no quarrel with them. We want to get to this planet. Man, it is actually really hard to fly your ship. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like you kind of... There we go. Okay. Land. Boop. All right. Well, first things first, we got to go heal uh, before anyone else dies. And second thing second, we got to recruit somebody else. Man, I can't believe we lost that guy. Uh, oh man, our party account only has $800,000 left, too. We're running low on funds. Good thing everyone who's waiting to join our team has like $5 million in the bank. It's very convenient, right? Should we make a new character? I don't know. Okay, recruit. It's like the character, or drive three characters from, C. Um, oh, you can only, uh, select people who, um, who are already created. All right, well, I feel like Jurgen is a good name. We're going to recruit Jurgen. Jurgen, welcome to the team, bro. Welcome to the team. 
And Jurgen, you have $5 million. You're totally depositing that right into the, the team account. We will let you hold on to 500000 because we are nice guys. All right. You you know what? Uh, five million, four, $4.5 million. You've earned your way onto the team. Now what we have to do is equip all the stuff we can onto Jurgen. And in fact, what we're going to do is we are going to give Jurgen a battle dress. <laughs> Because uh, uh, the other guy did not have a battle dress. And look what it cost. It cost him his life. And we're going to get a battle dress for the other guy. I wanted I wanted my guys to sort of have variety and look different and stuff. But the truth is we should just armor our guys up as well as we can. Because they, they go down like crazy. You know what? They, they die as easily as an XCOM. You guys remember XCOM or UFO Defense, the uh, DOS game? Uh, where your 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 guys, you know, you'd get a guy, you'd train him for weeks, he would be doing awesome, then all of a sudden he would die. That's basically what happens in this game. We have a 9mm rifle or a TL-12 PGMT. All right, so he's got pretty good weapons. Let's go ahead and put the good armor on this guy. All right, Brains. I'm going to equip Brains' as neural rifle. I wish there was, like, information about, like, how much damage or whatever it did. Because look at it. He has neural weapons times six. We got to get him a neural weapon rifle. Maybe that should be our next mission. All right. We have we have seen two planets. One planet we found an awesome maze. And the other we uh, slowly uh, almost suffocated and were murdered. Actually, you know what we should do? is go and buy extra oxygen tanks for all of our characters. Because if we encounter a low oxygen planet again, I want to be ready. What does this say? The Regina Subsector Law Enforcement Agency is offering a reward to anyone who can provide information about the identity of the renegade band of pirates who attacked a top-level shower shoot executive in the Three Aces Tavern on a fate. Conrad Kiefer, the intended victim, is offering an additional uh, personal reward of 100000 Oh, I think they're talking about us. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we're, let's buy some oxygen. All right, we got s some oxygen. Actually, since we're back on our home planet, I'm just curious what happens if you re-enter the tavern. Does it, like, does a fight ensue? Welcome to the Three Aces Bar. I wonder if they want to kill us or if they're happy to have us back. This guy is a horse or a dog or something. Howdy there, gentlefolk. I've known Conrad Kiefer since he was a lowly merchant captain. Through the years, he has made friendly, many friends in both the Imperial and Zodani circles. His relationship with the Zodani began when his trade route frequently carried him through Zodani space. Of course, that was many years ago. And if he has gained considerable power since then, do not cross Kiefer! He surrounds himself with a personal army of thugs and assassins. I will bribe you, sir. You don't have enough money to bribe me. You are correct. If five million dollars can't bribe someone, I don't know. I don't want to live in that world. All right. So the horse, the horse gentleman, told us some key information. I think it is time for us though to uh, be the due to the system. So we did kill that assassin guy, and if we go to Alel, we can actually claim his dog tag. So why don't we do that? We're going to jump to Alel. No nav program running. Didn't we buy a nav program? I'm confused. All right, you know what? We might have to go back and purchase another nav program. I'm okay with that. We have enough money. Oh god, we just skipped right past the planet. Nav program. Oh, we have to buy like multiple of these? Okay, I'll buy 10 of those. More of those. Why not? Six and six, in fact. Surely that is enough to get us to where we need to go. No nav program running. Okay, I think I kind of figured this out. Apparently you have to like assign people to different systems on your computer. And then I think you can jump. No nav program running. So I think we just have to wait for this navigation program to load. So you can assign people to these like different uh, roles on the ship. There's an engineering. I don't know what this is. Communications, a medical bay, sick bay. Why are Brains and Jurgen stuck in the sick bay, I wonder? 
I don't know, but uh, you go to engineering, I guess. We are almost ready to run our navigation program. So there is a pretty sophisticated um, space combat system in this game. Actually, this is kind of cool. So you, you get navigation and jump programs, and then you have to, like, load them into the computer. And you can, like, load different programs into the computer to do different things. I like that. That's kind of cool. It kind of feels Battlestar Galactic-ish. Because, like, when uh, they would have to, like, do jumps between stars, they would ha actually have to, like, load or do the jump calculations, you know, before they could actually make a jump. It's kind of interesting. Although, hopefully, it doesn't have, like, this long of a load time every time you want to jump. Hopefully, I can load the navigation and the jump stuff, and it will just be now loaded permanently. Boom. All right. So the navigation and the jump programs are running in the computer. You know, one thing I will give credit to this game for is, uh, what? No jump drive. Ugh. I will give credit to the fact that things are pretty intuitive in the sense of, for the most part, I've just been able to sort of fumble through and figure stuff out. But now I own a jump drive. Why can I not use it? Maybe I never bought one. This is why having five million bucks in the bank is good, because you can just continue to try things. Buy supplies from the party account. Selenius. Jump drive. Give me one of them. Okay, I, I own a jump drive. Aha, now it says jump. All right, I think we're good. I guess I didn't own a jump drive. I'm almost positive I bought one last time, but I guess not. Oops, why did I go back here? Actually, I know why, I went to save. So this is gang three. Go, remember we are the gangbangers. That is our group name. All right, finally time to travel. I'm gonna go to Alel first because I need to turn in the dog tags from the guy I slaughtered in the field. Oh, did I just jump? I think I just jumped. Allele in system travel, boom. All right, that was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now, following my radar, I think we have to go right around here. There we go. Oh, God. this The flying around this game is actually pretty brutal. I've said that multiple times. Land. Now, we are... Oh, God, it looks like another desert planet. Is this really where we want to be right now? I think this is the wrong planet, by the way. We have extra oxygen tanks just in case we need it. But let's just do a little exploring here for the sake of uh, completeness. Now, I will say, so I, I think I already said in today's video, I, I'm kind of like blurring today and in, in the last video, but I think I already said in today's video how uh, the main reason that I'm checking this game out is because uh, a fan was watching the battle, my Battletech Crescent Hawks Inception playthrough, and it kind of reminded him of this, and he kind of mentioned it to me, and I looked it up and it actually looked kind of interesting. Um, I think graphics-wise, it is quite similar to the Battletech game, and I think actually this whole... A mechanic of flying around to different star systems and you know having to not just maintain battle mechs but having to maintain like a crew and like uh, explore different uh, worlds would have been tremendously amazing. I know Battletech the Crescent Hawks Inception has many other good things going for it but it is a game where you're kind of stranded on one planet. It would have been so neat if they had found a way to work. Oh look at this. Um, oh that's an alien. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. All right, you know what? We will break up the party, and we will order some attacks of our own. Uh, there. 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 And there. And I have not been, like, moving my guys around during combat, but I guess I will just for the sake of doing it. Um, there you go. So they'll do some fancy moves. 25 points of damage, 21 points of damage, 19, man. My guys are rocking it, 15. Whatever that thing is, we are wrecking it. Oh, the purple guy is like breathing heavily. So the oxygen is the white bars to the, uh, between his health. And man, he is, he is just uh, panting heavily in that suit. Don't use up all the oxygen, Chuck, you need it. Um, but yes, I know when, when they designed the Crescent Hawks Inception, it was like under, uh, you know, design constraints of, it, of its own because it had to, um, 
you know, it had to like work on a Commodore 64 and a DOS computer and all this stuff. So I don't think I would fault the developers for not including system travel. But I mean, if a game like this could include traveling to multiple systems, imagine how cool it would have been to play Battletech the Crescent Hawks Inception and to like be able to explore different star systems, different mechs, you know, take take mercenary contracts or something. Basically take the Crescent Hawks Inception and merge it with Mech Warrior 1, which was another DOS game that came out, I think in 1990. I think Crescent Hawks was 88. So that that would have been a really cool uh, sort of melding of uh, mechanics, I think. Anyway, I don't seem to be able to find very much on this world here. I don't even know what world I'm on. And considering that I am running low on the old oxygen, I don't want to, like, be tangoing too much here. The purple guy is running out. I He has extra tanks of oxygen, so I'm just going to assume he knows enough to use the extra oxygen if he starts to feel lightheaded. But, I mean, you can't necessarily make that assumption, so... We're just going to beeline it back to town, I think. Yeah, that takes us to town. Wait, where did this other path go? Very quickly. Well, well purple head over there suffocates. Oh, this just goes nowhere. Okay. All right, well, we, we explored a desert planet. This is not the planet I was looking for, by the way. I'm here to turn in dog tags uh, because I slaughtered some kind of uh, assassin on my home planet. So this was Anpar. So I have a list of planets here that tells me which planets actually have something worthwhile so one thing about this game is that there are a number of planets that are kind of just useless that are there but they just don't really uh do anything of value <laughs> so uh yeah it's better to just spend your time going to more useful planets basically okay so this one is iroth on iroth you can sell gold statues and muskets in a museum there's a fishing net on an island to the south, and you can get a survival kit in the bar. We're doing that. So there's an island to the south and a survival kit in the bar. Oh, there was no guard to take my gun. Good start. Promising start. I like a city that uh, runs on the honor system. Go ahead and give me the grav. Oh, okay. Well, forget it then. The The grav machine was actually really cool. Let you, like, fly around the city. Who's interested in getting armor? Nobody, because we already have battle dresses. Can't you see our beautiful attire? Any good weapons? I am curious what you got. Who will receive the weapons and who will buy them? Okay, this guy seems to have some variety of weapons. TL9. We have TL12 laser rifles. Okay. What I want to find is someone who carries neural rifles, because we have a neural pistol. But I want neural rifles. Because I have a guy who's highly skilled in neural stuff. Buy. There seems to be nothing of value. So TL, I guess, is the level. So 9, 12. So one med kit's more expensive than the other. I just assume it means it's better. Oh, man. You know what? Actually, maybe we will rent that boat. I'm just kind of looking. It's like it's all, it's all a water planet, and it's really hard to get around. All right. Give me the boat. Who will pay? Character... I don't know, three. <laughs> God, give me the boat. All right, we are in a boat. Can we go under the bridge? We cannot. Okay, can we go over this way then? Yes, we can. All right, off to explore the interesting worlds of an aquatic planet. Again, you know what? It's, it's cool that there are planets that sort of are arranged differently. Like this is an aquatic planet. You actually kind of need a boat to get around. Kind of interesting that they went for that. Um, now, the thing about the game is that there are some characters who can have, like, uh, boating skills, but apparently those do basically nothing to help you pilot boats and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter if your character has a boating skill or does not have a boating skill. It really, apparently, does not make a big difference, which is too bad. But I guess it would be really annoying if you came to a planet and none of your characters had boating skills and you just couldn't do anything. Um, oh, that looks like a lizard. Uh, let's go ahead and leave our vehicle. Oh, look at this. Lizards want to fight. Okay, break up the group. I wish there was just like a attack all kind of option. Uh, fire. In fact, we don't even really need to get everyone involved. We can just have this one guy do all the fighting. Good old brains. That's what we use them for. 
Don't use him for his charms and witty dialogue. I don't know. Let's kill this thing over here too. Kill all the wildlife. All the other people are just standing around. Brain just like, let me guys show you how a neural pistol works. I feel like the neural pistol does like a crazy amount of damage at first. It was doing like 30 points of damage. And then it starts doing like zero, zero, negative one, reptile hide. Boom, zero, zero, zero. Okay, you know what? Stop wasting your ammo. Uh, target that. Why is this thing like suddenly immune? Okay, you know what? Let's try somebody else. Let's give somebody else a turn to fire their weapon. There we go, we got it. All right, uh, party, regroup. Everybody get on the boat. And then we will leave over here, vehicle leave. Oh, look at this, there's a crashed boat. Items take, who will take the reptile hide? All right, interesting. I wonder what this crashed boat is all about. Can we get on it? Or well, maybe we have to like go around this little island here. An evil reptile there. I'm gonna let that reptile live. I, I truly have no quarrel with the reptiles as a species. Oh, look at all this. Okay, vehicle, leave. You cannot park your vehicle here. Okay, hold on. Vehicle, leave. All right. We are on the boat. Items. There's nothing nearby. Nothing of value. Um, where am I? Hold on, hold on. Uh, item, use, who will use an item? Nothing to use. Hold on, I think I have a lantern. Use the lantern. Boo, we're in a pirate ship. Oh, man, I need to buy more lanterns. Item, take, nothing to take. Look at this, there's lizards. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna keep fighting the lizards. I feel like the combat in this game is fine, but it's uh, it gets a little redundant. And all my guys are like fully armored, so it's not like they're gonna be able to be injured. Take the necklace. Ooh, we got sapphires. Ooh, what is this? This looks like stairs or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's just back background, I guess. Wow, we're exploring a pirate ship. Didn't see this coming. Didn't see this coming. It feels a little uh, medieval for a sci-fi. I think like there's anchors and stuff. <laughs> feels a little like uh, you know, uh, one-eyed Willie kind of. Who will take the dust spice? All right. Are, are the purple guy literally is the guy, the, the camel who's carrying everything in this group. If he dies, it's gonna be really annoying because we have to pick up everything that he dropped. More background stuff. Ooh, more more gems or sapphires or whatever. Items take. Okay, that guy will take the amethysts. Oh, you silly little iguana biting me. I will let it pass. Ooh, we got a door over here. Oh yeah, look at this, now it's looking sci-fi-ish. Something cool in here. Where are we? Some kind of like weird library. There was something on the ground over here. The gold statue. We got it. Oh, there's a med pack over there. Sure, why not? Item take, we'll take the TL9 med pack. Inferior to the T12s we're packing, but still. All right, that was cool. That was neat. We got to raid a sunken ship. All right, back to the high waters, I guess. Oh, we miss these sapphires at the entrance. Or diamonds, sorry. Whatever. I think I know a guy who's interested in buying those. Um, so in this game, you go around picking up like sapphires and diamonds and like other rare minerals. And you can go to people in different uh, planets who are interested in buying them. I feel like for our purposes, it's kind of a waste of our time to go back and sell those things. Like, I understand that, like, you know, we're kind of cheesing the game by having so much money. Uh, but again, it was something done for convenience and speed. I don't need to go to another bar, or do I? Oh, we'll try it. Um, but I think in the actual game, you would want to be, like, going back and forth to planets and, like, selling stuff that you find. Greetings, traveler. All right, this guy had nothing. This bar is... This bar is for losers. Nobody has anything cool to say to us. All right, what do we got going on over yonder? Welcome to the casino. I do not want to gamble. I've seen, I've seen the gambling. Takes money to play money or something like that. He who pays the price loses, whatever the slogan of the casino was. Not interested, pal, not interested. All right, let's get back to our ship 
And our next stop is going to be LL, where we can actually turn in those dog tags for the uh, dude we murdered in the, uh, in the first video. All right, we're back at the starport. I'm just going to abandon my vehicle. I feel like that's fair. They're never going to be able to hunt me down for that security deposit. Um, and let's head to LL. All right, down to LL. We need to find the Imperial base so that we can sell our dog tags. Okay, we don't need any of that. Oh, this, would, this will be a good place to save, though. So this is where we'll probably break up today's video. Welcome to the LL Starship Racing HQ. Oh my god, you can get involved in races? Definitely, I find the Starship controls very difficult, so I don't think we should race. You aren't facing anyone. Having fun traveling? Uh, the Starship races are simple. All you have to do is fly your ship as fast as you can to the planet Strawn, find the Warbot, and he will give you a red flag. Take the red flag to the planet Ampar, search for the second Warbot. If you capture the Warbot, you have the red flag, you will receive the blue flag if you're the first racer to race. Return to me with the blue flag, you win 10. This is like the amazing race. Um, it's kind of interesting that this is there. I feel like this would be a giant detour. And you get the gist. You fly to different planets, uh, killing things and getting flags. It's kind of an interesting side mission. Uh, the race is not just sort of on one planet or through the stars. It's You have to land on a planet and like, find a flag. Uh, the actual story mission for this game is not that different from what we just read there. So... I don't think we're going to do that. I know I said I wanted this to be the definitive let's play of this game and to see all the things, but uh, I we got to draw the line somewhere because uh, we can't get too distracted by uh, side quests anyway. Welcome to Alel. In Alel, there are four worlds with planetary starport facilities suitable for landing. They are the Alel, Anpar, Iroth, and Strawn. Good to know, my friend, my hairy friend. Good to know. Okay, we just want to find the Imperial base so we can turn in these dog tags. Anyone see an Imperial base around here? All right, we got to grab a thing. Let's fly this around. This should help us find the base a little more quickly now that we're not bound by the laws of physics. All right, that looks promising maybe right there. This is some dude's house. I think all the like interiors of the buildings, as cool as they look, they're kind of all the same. So if you've been into one house, you've kind of been through all of them. So that is not what we're looking for. How about over here? The general store? Nope. Hey, look at these punks hanging out over here. Let's kill them. Wait, that guy seems innocent. So does this guy. Also, I, I forgot, we don't have any weapons. They confiscated our weapons when we got here. I guess we won't kill you then. Seriously though, where is this Imperial office? This could be it. Hello, the Imperial Security Headquarters. This is looking like it's it. Uh, bring me proof that Katarina's Verdion has been neutralized and a representative of the Spinward March's law will grant you $225,000 in credits. Uh, bring me proof that Gainus Ozar, the Butcher of Bougine, has been neutralized. Okay, so each of these guys is willing to pay for a different guy that we killed. Uh, we killed, like, Zen. Uh, we did not kill him. We did... Oh, we did kill this guy. So, let's see here. Who has got his dog tags? Okay, Zen's ID. Okay, now we talk to this guy. Uh, Brains hands over Zen's ID. Here is the reward that was promised. That you were promised. 125,000 credits. Yay! We don't really need the money, but it's, it's cool to see that we can uh, take mercenary contracts. The only thing that was kind of annoying is I had to go into my character's inventory, find the dog tag, equip it, and then hand it to him. I feel like I wish the game would just automatically detect that one of the characters had the item and just, just do it. Because there's, there's sort of like needless steps in here. Like, who are we kidding? Anyway, yay, we did it. It covers the cost of this gravity rental, I'm sure. Also, I do not remember where I rented this thing. <laughs> Might have been this building. Might have not been. Is it here? Nope, that's just a bar. All right, well, I think we've come far enough for today's adventure. So there's going to be at least one more part of this uh, Let's Play of the Mega Traveler. I think in the next part, we're going to do two main things, which is we're going to check out one or two more little side quests, and then we're going to finally go on the grand adventure 
the true adventure to wrap this up. And actually, the true adventure is literally just visiting three or four planets uh, to do a couple of side quests. So the actual game here is more of a sandbox game, you know, uh, where you can actually beat the story mode relatively, like, really quickly if you know where you're going. Um, so we will check that all out in the next part. So guys, if you've been enjoying this uh, playthrough of Mega Traveler, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. I will be back soon with another video and a new game, so don't forget to tune back in soon. And as always, my friends, I hope you all have a great Saturday and a great week, and we will see you next time. Alrighty, guys. Until then, peace. Give me my weapons back, sir. That was a lucky find. Ow.